When you're working with a large session, finding tracks, opening a plugin on, say, the lead vocal, or just coming back to something you worked on a few days ago can sometimes be, well, frustrating. Window configurations are a great way to save you time when you work in your session. So I'm working on a bus compression mix here for my drums, and everything you see on the screen is considered a possible window configuration. For me, it's everything I need to work with what I call the slammer track. This includes the track list visible in the mix window, five send windows for my drum tracks, and the compressor itself. Now, Pro Tools 7.3 lets me save this particular arrangement of windows as a new configuration. Now, if I open the window configuration list, you can see the new edition at the bottom. And this makes it easy to go immediately into edit mode and edit my drums and then come back to mixing my buzz compression. OK, so let's spank these drums. I'll bring down my slammer track, add in the original drums, and then mix the slammer in. So as you can see, window configurations can really save you time when you're working with a large session. Here's another example. Maybe I want to edit the Velvet plugin that we laid down in the Dynamic Transport movie. Or access the lead vocals EQ, its compression or the sends, and make changes immediately. Famous love, famous lives. Now Pro Tools 7.3 even makes it easy to update your window configurations as your workflow progresses. If you make a change, like move a window or change its settings, you can simply control click on the window configuration list and you're updated. So now let me show you some of the settings that get saved with a configuration. I'll just call up my keyboard tracks and my sequencer configuration, and you can see the icons that indicate the settings stored within the configuration. And these include window position, edit, mix, and transport settings. Notice when I bring the mix window forward that configuration 5, 6, and 7 only contain mix settings, nothing else. My sequencing configuration, on the other hand, stores window positions, floating windows like the real-time properties, and rulers like the new key signature ruler or the marker ruler. And also view settings like the real-time properties and the I.O. And with all these components now hidden, recalling my sequencer configuration restores all of my settings instantly, including the mix window that's behind the edit window. Let me finish by showing you one other new feature that's become invaluable for me when working on a session. Have you ever wanted to hide all of the plugins or floating windows with one keystroke? Well, 7.3 now allows you to hide all floating windows. You can also use the key command, which is all three modifiers and W. It's an awesome feature.